Understanding, I can see past it. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're going to explore a phrase that might seem simple at first glance but carries deep meaning. I can see past it. Understanding such phrases is crucial for mastering English, especially for non-native speakers. So, let's get started. The phrase, I can see past it, is more than just about physical sight. It's a metaphorical expression that means recognizing and understanding something's true nature or essence, beyond any obstacles, flaws, or immediate appearances. When someone says they can see past something, they're indicating their ability to overlook faults or distractions to appreciate the bigger picture or the underlying qualities of a person, situation, or object. This phrase is often used in contexts where there's a need to acknowledge imperfections while also recognizing value or potential. Let's look at some examples. In relationships. Yes, he makes mistakes, but I can see past that to the kind heart he has. In work scenarios, the project proposal was not perfectly formatted, but I could see past it to the innovative ideas it presented. In personal growth, I know I have a lot to learn, but I can see past the challenges to the opportunities they bring. These examples show that being able to see past something is a sign of empathy, understanding, and foresight. To fully grasp this phrase, try to apply it in your daily life. Reflect on situations where you might have judged something or someone too quickly. Ask yourself, could you see past the immediate to understand the deeper value? Practicing this not only improves your language skills but also helps develop a more compassionate and comprehensive worldview. And that's a wrap on, I can see past it. We hope this video has shed light on this insightful phrase and how it can enrich your communication in English. Remember, language learning is not just about vocabulary and grammar. It's also about understanding the cultural and emotional nuances that come with phrases like these. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to exploring more intriguing aspects of the English language together. Stay curious, and see you in the next video.